Hey guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create this cool two-part stair design in Revit. Now this is quite a modern design and there's a bunch of these around Pinterest so I thought it would be cool to kind of create a tutorial on how to do something like this in Revit. But before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. Okay, so let's get started. Here I am in Revit. I'm going to start by using the architectural template and I'm just going to set the units to centimeters because I think that's right for this project. Just type in OK and now let's get started. So immediately I'm going to go to the stair command and I'm going to be using the kind of a private stair or you can use this max assembly stair. Anyway, which one you choose that's on you. So here we go. So you just kind of scroll down over here and you see the des desired number of stairs, the actual thread depth and the riser height. And here you have this is 18.18. .18. So that's a nice even number. And we can use this just to determine where we're going to split our stairs. So if I turn out take out my calculator here and if I type in 18.18 .18 and let's type in times 5 and we get 90.9 .9. so we're going to be using this dimension so we're going to have kind of five steps of one staircase and then we're going to continue with another type of staircase and it will be kind of a angled staircase like this so let's just turn this off so we keep that in mind so here we are and we're going to go to base offset and type in that number so 90.9 .9. so we immediately take out the first five steps for this staircase and I'm just going to create the staircase over here go into 3d and this is what you get and now let's kind of set up the type so it doesn't look like this ugly regular traditional staircase so just go into edit type and here for the supports I'm going to be eliminating them so just go to none for both left and right supports and for here for the run type just open up this and here let's just set the material to something something that grabs the eye so let's try to find some red aluminum ooh gold that might look cool but no let's keep it tasteful so let's try this red aluminum load it in go apply okay and here you can just select everything go control C control V to copy and paste this here for to have the same material and for the thread thickness I'm going to type in one centimeters and for the riser profile again one centimeter and here for this kind of a riser to thread connection I'm just going to leave it at this and yeah thread profile none make sure there's no nosing profile so if it's it's at the default that that's where it should be so just go apply OK apply OK and you get the stair that looks like this and if you turn on the realistic you can see it's red so it's quite characteristic so you just go finish you get this ugly railing so we're just going to delete it and we're going to be creating railing of our own so but before we do the railing let's do the first part of the stair and I know you're probably thinking that we're going to be creating that using the stair command but I just prefer using just component in place because we can make it just a complete concrete block or whatever you would call it so just go model in place let's just define it as stair yeah let's leave it at stair one you go at level one and here you can either go here and set the work plane that you're going to be using over here or you can just use this first step as work plane but I prefer just creating my own work plane so let's place it here and name it stair and leave it there so I'm just going to go here to east elevation to see my stair and let's start modeling so just go create extrusion and pick a plane choose this plane stair okay and if you remember we have the riser of 18.18 .18, and then we have the strap depth of 25 so you create just one of those and then you type in copy you make sure that you select multiple and you just kinda copy this 
all the way up and you kind of finish over here. So I'm just going to move this a little bit. So just go move and move it kind of in line with this. So yeah, place it like that and then you just create a line that goes like this to level 1. Close it off, you go like this trim and extend and you finish it off. So once you have this, you just go finish, you go into level 1 and you here for the extrusion end it's at 25 but as you remember this is 1 meter or 100 centimeters so let's make this an even 100 as well. And let's just add the material. I think it's cool that this is just a red aluminum material but let's make this concrete. I think it, it would go together really fine. So type in concrete and let's use this one perhaps. But here we have a problem. You can see here we have this thread and then this is where the stair are, is. So here we need just another thread. So this stair needs to be offset by another 25 centimeters. And the way you solve this you just type in here for the extrusion start 25 and here let's just change this to 125 and we kinda moved it out of the way. So you just go finish model or you can add this thread over here right in the same family. I think that's best probably. So let's just go to south elevation, zoom in over here, go create, extrusion, pick a plane, choose this plane and then create a rectangle like so. Select it, move it and you just place it over here. Okay, so we have that thread and for the material, let's choose our red aluminum material. Go finish, finish and let's just go into level 1. Here it is. So you kind of connect it here and connect it here. Okay, so once this is finished, you just go into finish, go into 3D. Yeah, that looks real nice. So let's just do the, the railing for this and it's going to be quite a specific type of railing but to do the railing we kinda needed some floor, some floors for this project. So I'm just going to go into level 1 and here I'm going to go to architecture tab, floor, rectangle and let's just draw in a floor like this. Let's not make it too large, perhaps like so and place it like that. Okay so once this is finished you go into 3D, you select this floor and you go here to copy paste, align to selected levels and align it to level 2 and place it there as well. Now let's just edit the type of this, maybe make it concrete just to go with the, go with the flow. So just type in concrete, yeah this one ok, apply ok. So this is finished and now we just need to edit this so just go edit boundary and we can use pick lines to add some lines over here choose this line over here and then choose perhaps this line. So once you have this you just go trim and extend and as you can see you can do everything in 3D. You can finish your sketch of a floor. So you just go finish and this is what you get and let's do the railing now and again I'm going to do the railing in the same in place family as this just to make everything complete. So just go edit type, you go into south elevation and here you can go extrusion, pick a plane, let's pick this plane again, okay and then you can use the line command and let's start from here. So this will go all the way up, then we're going to travel all the way here, kinda do a couple of steps like this, kinda created this zigzag line and once you've created a couple you can just go copy select it over here, make sure that it's unconstrained and that you have multiple selected and then you kinda go downward like this. Okay, we're going to be adding some lines because I kinda selected at the wrong end but that's not a problem. Okay, so let's just go here to lines and add a line like this, add one here, one here and a couple of more. Okay, so this is basically finished. So here for the extrusion end I'm going to type in minus 1. I hope this works. Just go finish and go into level 1 to see what that looks like. Yeah, that should be positive 1. Okay. 
and now let's go copy and you select it wherever here perhaps you unconstrain it and you kind of move it parallel to this part over here now you can select both of these railings and let's make it some characteristic color I don't want it to be red that would be a bit too much so let's try something black yeah let's use this door handle material whatever that is and go finish model and here if we go into 3d yeah this looks quite cool a bit sinister the red and black combination but I like it so let's go into level 1 and let's test it out so camera let's set an angle like this yeah this looks quite cool actually so let's try rendering it just double R for render render and let's see this is what you get in the end so it's quite a cool and modern stair designs that would go very well in any modern interior thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future tutorials please leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day